if God is good, then he should just forgive me. Why do I need to repent? You probably thought that so many times. Now, in my new book, The Purpose of Life, this is my first ever written book, I discuss this, and I write, why doesn't he just forgive if he's good? Why Jesus had to come? Why has, does it need to be a punishment? Of course, it's because of the breaking of the law. If you break the law, even in your country, that takes a punishment. So I don't know why we think different with God. But anyways, let's move on. Well, God is 100% good and he's also 100% holy and just. To put it in simpler terms, let's just say that someone commits a crime and you as a judge, you have to judge that. You have to punish that crime. No matter if he says, I didn't mean to, I did not mean to. No matter if he says, ah, but I did all of these good things, so you can't punish me for that because I did so many good things. It doesn't matter. The judge is obliged to punish him. He has to punish him. He can't let sin be, he can't let that crime go unpunished. If he did, he wouldn't be just and he wouldn't be good. So why do we expect God to treat us differently? We have broken the laws of an eternal, almighty good God and we expect that we are going to go unpunished but focus on this he doesn't leave you in that state he comes in the person of Jesus Christ bears your guilt suffers the punishment you should have suffered and offers you forgiveness of sin